Hi, I'm Lexi, and this is Henry and Nicole, and we would like to introduce the Hoosier Hub. Well, I have some bad news for you Indiana Hoosiers. Indiana is entrepreneurially weak and innovation poor. However, we have created the Hoosier Hub, which is going to enhance connectivity, increase transparency, all while mitigating brain drain. So now let's go into the problem pains in which the Hoosier Hub is going to be addressing. So Indiana lacks transparency. So there are all of these events that are out there, but only so many people know that they exist. There is also a lack of connectivity. So who do students and entrepreneurs go to to create networks with and connect with? And then of course, Indiana, it's just not um, an entrepreneurial state. And then one of the biggest problems that we want to focus on is students leaving Indiana after graduation. So 75% of college students leave Indiana after they graduate, and Indiana has a very low activity rate. But however, Indiana does have potential as it is ranked number 21 of the best states to start a business in. And also, millennials have launched twice as many businesses as compared to baby boomers. So we have all these young aspiring entrepreneurs who are graduating and they're starting businesses elsewhere. So now let's look at our primary data. So we spoke to the mayor of Evansville, Mr. Lloyd Winnicky. We explained to him the Hoosier Hub and he liked our idea and he really likes that it's going to keep the talent in Evansville. And we spoke to Ron Hagee, who was our main primary um, person, who said he was going to fund it, he was going to fund our Hoosier Hub. Um, he was really enthusiastic about it and he said that he would be more than happy to help us financially. So exactly what is the Hoosier Hub? The Hoosier Hub is a website that connects students and universities together throughout the state of Indiana. So the way it's going to work, it's going to be a list of entrepreneurial events that are happening throughout the state that universities are going to want us to advertise on our website. So obviously if these universities want their events to be known around the state of Indiana, we can manage that for them. And so some of the features on the website is definitely going to be our platform for virtual speakers, which is the success stories of that happened in the state of Indiana. And then the open forums, which allows students and other entrepreneurs to connect with one another through this website. So now looking at the opportunity size, uh, we looked at several colleges with the best entrepreneurial resources and the ones with the programs, entrepreneurial program. Uh, so if you look at the diagram, in the black arrows that are pointing to the Hoosier Hub, these are the colleges and like, for example, like the students going to the Hoosier Hub and connecting with one another. But then that's what happens when you see the red arrows it starts showing that the colleges and universities are starting to connect with one another through our platform. Uh, another thing is Indiana has 10 small business, uh, small business development centers, which uh, we want to put us on a website because for those students and entrepreneurs that don't know exactly where to go to start up their business after college, this will be a good resource for them and increase our opportunity size a little bit more since they will have that access, or the access to these places to create their businesses. All right, for the service differentiation value, Hoosier Hub is going to use a statewide approach, which is going to connect more people through the use of forums. It's also going to help with the problem of people spending hours surfing the web looking for information since everything's going to be centrally located on one website. There are plenty of events out there and now people will know about them. For example, we found this ecosystem um, using Facebook, for example. It helps connect people through its website and we hope that Hoosier Hub can do the same. A few things we pulled out of our value proposition are that Hoosier Hub has a very user-friendly approach since everything on the website is going to be based on entrepreneurship. And also, it's unique because it's going to connect universities, not just people. The key activities are first, we're going to have to develop a platform for the website to run on. We'll also have to continuously manage and update the information on the website. And we'll also have to market it to the end users. The key resources for Hoosier Hub are going to be universities, students, platforms, and events. And now over to customer segments. First of all, the mayor is going to benefit from Hoosier Hub because it's going to help keep talented people in the state of Indiana. Next, the universities are going to benefit because it's going to help connect their students to one another, and also they'll have more information about business startups. And our revenue stream first, um, our primary source of revenue is going to be through corporate sponsors. Our secondary source is going to be through the fees we charge for the visuals, virtual speakers. And we also found that we think the website should be free to universities due to goodwill. Over to Henry. 
So looking at the customer channels, obviously the biggest one is our website, and we hope to spread this through the word of mouth, either through the conferences that we have with our, these universities to jump on board with the Hoosier Hub, or even through social media since it plays such a big role in our lives today. And another one would be cross-promoting these. So at these events, we would be able to promote the Hoosier Hub there at the event. And this is all going to tie into our customer relationships because once we get all this, uh, these events going, we'll get event feedback from our users, which is the students and entrepreneurs, and they could rate it from good to worse, so, you know, which events were good and which ones were bad. And this will help us co-create content with the universities to help bring better opportunities for our entrepreneurs. So looking at the key metrics for it, obviously the big one is going to be the number of universities involved. We obviously want a large number of universities, which will hopefully bring the number of students that comes with it. And then to keep the page active, we want the number of posts and the number of events to keep updating currently. Uh, then looking at the cost structure, to launch we're thinking about it's going to be around thirty to 50000 and then to manage it year after year it's probably going to be about forty to $60,000 a year. So at that we thought that would be a good cost structure for us. Now we're to Lexi. So in conclusion, the Hoosier Hub is going to bring together students, entrepreneurs, and universities together while enhancing transparency, diversity, connectivity, and mitigating brain drain.